Welcome to Toffee TV, we're in the studio, uh, we've got a better camera by the looks of it, looks like it's working well Baz, um, get your questions in, we're live for about the next um, 10 minutes or so, so if you want to give us um, any questions or anything, we're on Facebook, we are on Periscope, we are on Facebook said that twice I've said that twice Facebook YouTube Periscope we're on all three things uh, get your questions in uh, for us to have a little chat for about the next 10 minutes let us know what the quality is like let us know what the sounds like uh, I'm very conscious that I'm right on the end of this I'm just gonna move in a little bit closer to bears uh, we've got we've got all the, all the questions on the big screen there so we can see what you what you're um, what you're asking them um, Paul Stevens is on Periscope. He says, "What do you say to Bainsey being replaced, Baz?" Not yet. Next. Uh, come on, come on. No, I don't want him to be replaced. I think we definitely need a number, another left back um, to push him most definitely. And if we could get a high quality one, then of course you'd have to. You know, you want him in the team on merit, don't you? But I yeah. still think he's he's a quality player. I think you need something ahead of him. I think the yeah. left hand side is the issue. I don't think it's necessarily Bainsey. Um, let's see. Paul Brown on Periscope as well says, how many players do you think we need and how many do you think we'll actually get? I think we need nine. I think we'll actually get seven. Seven? That At big, least. Big numbers. We need big numbers. Big numbers. Don't we? We need big numbers. Um, Michael McMahon says, thoughts about a Tom Davis song since there's none? For me, it's got to be an Elvis song. Yeah. So anyone out there, sort an Elvis song out. Um... And let's let's get it going. A little bit closer to bed. Okay, I'm just gonna uh, turn. I thought that was I thought you were gonna play like a little more calm <laughs> six and a little bit. That was uh, us coming through. Uh, Connor Pickford on Facebook says number one transfer for transfer target for the summer. P let's just say position before we get into names. Me? Yeah. That's strikers. Striker? Hundred percent. So first one through the door it's gotta be. For me, first one through the door. 100% first one's got to be a goalkeeper. 100%. And it may well be. It may well be. Mark um, McCormack says, Thoughts on Sandro? He's on YouTube. The one who used to play for QPR on Tottenham. Um, yeah, he looks like a good player, but there's half a dozen teams in for him. So, Because that's going to be the big problem, isn't it, this summer? That, and I've said this before, we're going to be up against quality people trying to sign these players. Now, that's going to be the, the next big thing we're, we're, we're going to have to deal with. Yeah, but if you want good players, that's, yeah. that's what you're up against. Uh, on Periscope, Matt says, would you replace both Williams and Jags with new centre-backs? Um, not both. But would you replace them in the team? Because I would. 
Uh, but it depends who you get in. We need we need definitely a, a quicker centre back mm. than those two. Uh, we need to buy two centre backs for me. Okay. Um, I, I wouldn't be in a rush to get both of them out, but who knows? Blue Peter says re Wofford preview. Kenny and Cole can't play. Yeah, we know. We know. Uh, we know that. Um, they're with the under twenties now. Yes, we know that. Uh, we didn't know that then, but we know that now. If we knew that then, we wouldn't have said that because it made us look stupid. But when once the starting eleven show goes up, you'll see that we are aware of that. Um, and yeah, um, let's have a quick chat about Kevin Morales. The chairman said last night he's signing a new contract at the club. Um, thoughts on that one? Uh, a bit surprised, but yeah. then again, I'm not. <laughs> because he's still Make your mind up. on his day. No, but I just think on his day he's a quality player. But I think if it's gonna if it's gonna take it to Kevin Morales being on the bench and that's the level, mm. players of his level on the bench, that means that the first team will be a lot better. Yeah. Kevin Morales is a good player. It's the problem with Kevin Morales is you've got no consistency yeah, with him. So I don't know whether you're getting a nine or a five out of him. But if you're looking across at that bench and it's Kevin Morales level on the bench then your team will be a strong side and that's what I think over yeah, the yeah it's an interesting one because I've said myself I think Kevin Morris can be a good player and, and I want to see him I want to see him start to sort that put that in mm. I don't know whether I don't know I don't know whether the like injuries have took the toll on him over the years and he's just not that player anymore if he's not that player he's got to Turn himself, or certainly the manager's got to turn himself into a different kind of player. If he's not that or that you know flying winger anymore, then he's got to be turned into something else, and um, that will contribute more to the team. He's just, I think he's that's a, as a split striker. Th anyway. That's his biggest issue is he just doesn't con contribute enough to the team. Mm. Um, he goes mm. missing in games, but when he's when he's on it and when he's up for it. You can see he has got something. He's, it's infectious. It's just that it's not there enough. Yeah, I, I think so. he, when he's a split striker, he's he's much better when he's closer to the centre forward. Andrew Vale says, "Would you take Casper Schmeichel if we were interested?" Would I take him? Yeah. I don't want him, but he's, he's decent. But I just don't think he's that much better than Joel. Next, I think United are looking at him, though, aren't they? Which is weird. Considering um, yeah, like he's probably off the Schmeichel link. That's it. He got loads of shirts left over. Yeah, from back in the day. He's, probably, he's a good goalie. Don't get me wrong, but uh, Paul Brown says, "Do you think Cumin rates Barkley?" Uh, yes, I do. But I don't think he's bothered by the fact he's a local boy, or he's bothered by the fact with the talent. I think Cumin looks and just says, "If you're not performing, then." I don't care who you are, basically. Mm. So, yeah. Okay, that's what Liam Walsh says, do you think we have the finances in place to make a splash in the transfer market in terms of FFP? Liam Walsh? Liam Walsh, apparently. Get yourself fit, lad, and you might be in there. Um, yes, I do. Yeah. I do think. No, but I think we will, but I'm not the financier. You can add Guy. more to these questions. I think, you know? yes, I think you, the... Put the, them up and put them on Twitter. Considering last season, they were hamstrung almost with mm. the with FFP, the new USN deal, um, the new... There's a few other sponsorship deals yeah. that are coming in which bounce it up, and you, you're getting players off the list, off the, the you know, the wage bill, like Umar Nick Nias yeah. and Tom Cleverley and those kind of players, that gives you that freedom to extend it. And I think... I think there's been a couple of pieces about the finances um, yeah. and there's an, the opportunity to create 30, 40 million pound extra. I think I think, I think we're going to be fine with the finances. Yeah, I don't yeah. think it's a problem whatsoever. I think um, the club have worked really hard to make sure that that's all sorted out, that that's not going to be a problem. Mm. They've, they've, there's new sponsorship. Don't forget, they, they said that already, there's 75 million pounds worth of new sponsorship deals apparently coming in this summer with... Um, the likes of um, Sports Pezza, uh, whoever the show the arm sponsor is, Chang, if there's still a link up there apparently with this well, there is with the community, community so that'll thing. be coming in. So there'll be all the sub contracts that they're getting in now as well. So uh, yeah, so yeah. Um, 
When do you th- when do we hope to see Col- Col- Coleman back in action? That's from Patrick Farrell. Uh, I think it, Christmas at the earliest. Okay. If we miss your questions, by the way, they're just going so fast. Yeah. So many people are asking us questions. Uh, Gary says we don't need to sign anyone. We won Premier League too. That's the spirit. Gary, uh, Jamie Dempsey on Facebook says we need a number one keeper end off having a top goal score is a waste of time with, with, with having some dodgy between the sticks um, it's whether we have um, a top striker as well uh, Lewis who looks like he's a Sunderland fan is saying Pickford would we go for Pickford I like Pickford I would go for Pickford because I think that he's he's young he's not as young as you thought he was he's 23 mm. he's had a good season in the Premier League um, and it's, apparently I've seen a stat the other day he's had more assists then a lot of good attacking midfielders in the Premier League. So there you go, his then. kicking is, is absolutely superb. Neville South ne- Neville Southall said <clears throat> he'd have him, so that's he's not a bad yeah. not a bad one to back him, is he? Um Tom Heard Heard this on Facebook says, How many of the team from this season do you think will start the first few games of the campaign next season? It's a really interesting question. That is, it is. Uh, yeah. five are you willing to name them? No. Why not? Because because I don't know, do I? I think Baines will start. I think uh, it depends who they bring in, doesn't it? You mm. know, you, I think Williams will start. I think Schneiderlin, Garner, Davis, Barkley, them kind of players. Uh, Evans Wood says, "What do you reckon we do with Garbutt and Galloway?" Uh, Garbutt, I don't know. Galloway, I think he needs to look at him again. This preseason and and see if he can he can make the grade as a centre back or a, or left back cover. Uh, Everton FC says goalkeeper Pickford centre half Zuma on loan, um, and I've just lost you. So would you go for Zuma? Or are we I think pa- he, no, I don't think he wants them kind of loans. Pa- I think loans, loans, aren't we? I think he wants to try and build as a team that's going to be here and and getting someone like Zuma on loan who's still unproven. Mm. No, I think he'll want to bring centre halves in himself. Uh, Luke Byrne, what do you make of Klassen? Yeah, he looks very good. Uh, Nick S says, Ped, why do you hate Birkenhead so much? Do you hate Birkenhead? I don't think I'd ever. I no. g- generally had an opinion on Birkenhead. Nope. Unless it's Birkenhead in Newcastle. Um, Owen J. H says, would you sign Enna Valencia permanently? Not for £12 million. No, and after and watching him, <laughs> after watching him in that show video. Yeah. Um Chuff Benny Bang me looks very, very good. Um so hopefully he'll improve next season and be involved in some squads. Stephen Dyer Bazped, would you go after Dolberg? Yes. Uh, but I don't know whether or not he wants to leave Holland just yet. But yeah, I'd, I'd, he'd be one I'm looking at. Ziet would be another one who looks yeah. really good. Sean as well. Paul Porter on Facebook says, Do you think Bessage will feature much next season depends on pre-season really depends how he impresses pre-season mm. um, this season's been a write-off for him and it's a pity because I think he Koeman would like him he does seem to fit the, what he brings he does seem to fit the Koeman mould of it and maybe and, and he seems to want he's got the attitude really he'll have a go as well won't he and, mm. and sort of and as we've seen he'll, he can play both ways as well he's just got to maybe temper himself a little bit and not get injured that seems to be his biggest problem not getting injured um, another one for Kurt Zuma I, I, I'm not interested in players on loan like Zuma why should we do Chelsea a favour surely we should be looking at trying to rival Chelsea now I, for signings yeah I thought we were I thought we were past that really because you're looking and going trying to put you know like Keane and people like that into the team and mm-hmm. bring them cooler Bally you know you link with Van Dijk cooler Bally now they mightn't come but it's good to be linked with them but Zuma on loan Lee nah. Gregg says do you think we should go all out for Aguero if Lukaku leaves 100% but would we get him <laughs> doubt it <laughs> nah Kip Cryptic Beastie Studios on YouTube says any player from Liverpool who would it be Um, Manny mm. Daniel Mart talk of Barkley not signing a contract well he hasn't it's signed a contract on and off Daniel so I, I still think he'll stay I've yeah. got two minutes left and I have to go. This is awesome. We should be doing this for an hour. <laughs> um, Do you think Luckman should be loaned out next season? No, Jane. Well, I don't know, but 
I think he's a. I think he's got a lot of talent. So I think a good pre-season behind him, playing games. You know, he's one for you there. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Kyle Larin. Yeah. Uh, what's going on with him? He's playing for Orlando City and scoring goals. That's what's going on with him. I don't know whether Everton are going to take the punts or not. EFC Craig J says, "Would you take who? What? Who? Uh, would you take the captaincy off Jags or would and and who would be the new captain? All right, who would you give to? Who would be a new captain? Tom Davies. Tom Davies. But it's a bit early, so Snydlin. Bob, <laughs> Pip, <laughs> Coy, Rita Ora or Messi, Rita Ora all day long." Uh, Sean says cracker off the left. Sean says, "Are we getting worried about the Barkley situation?" He's on Facebook. I think it's just f- uh, not worried, but it's it's a it's a bit frustrating. It's a bit weird, isn't it, that he, he hasn't signed? But I think it's a there's a big game going on with Ross Barkley. Well, not Ross Barkley, but with his team around him, his agents. Daniel Haslam says, "James McCarthy, future thoughts." I think he'll go to Newcastle. I think he'll go to Newcastle. I think he'll go to Newcastle. Uh, Gary says, "Should we go for Martial?" Yeah, I've had him all day long. I think Man United might. But keep Man United him. might want to keep him. Any yeah. ideas of the two new shirt sponsors are? Sure, out, out. Surely, it's common knowledge now who the new shirt sponsor is. Surely, but we're not going to say who it is. Robbie Bruce thoughts on Russell Griffiths. Well, Robbie, you watched them at the weekend and told me that he was quite good. So. So there's our thoughts. I haven't seen enough of them, mate, to be honest with you, but there you go. Do we think Lukaku will make it where? To Chelsea? Who knows? If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Anywhere, yeah. Uh, Liam Fox says, if Bar- Barkley were to go um, for 40 million, would you take 40 million? For 40 million? I'd want him to stay. End off. Connor Pickford would have taken Mares. Uh, Who would you replace him with? Who would you replace Barkley with? No, I wouldn't sell. Someone said, "Would you bring Tim Howard back?" No. Nope. Would I like Wayne back? Brad Thread Grill. Would we like Wayne back? Wayne, yeah, I take Wayne back. Yeah. Would you yeah. like him back? Um, I'm a bit like that now with him. Don't know. Yeah, yeah. But listen, whatever the manager wants. Yeah. But however he manager. feels that, however he feels that it's all gonna, all gonna come together. Um, that's the way you got to look at it at the moment. Is the new shirt sponsor sure? By the way, you said it. No, it's not sure. <laughs> it's How do people not know what the shirt sponsor is? It's like so. It's been basically confirmed for months. Alfie Records. Where do we think we'll finish in the league? Six, uh, this it depends who we get. Seven. It literally. It literally depends who we buy in the summer. Robbie Bruce, stop typing what thoughts on Russell Griffiths. I've asked you told me the weekend he was. Blue Peter says Timo Horn question mark. Yes, one hundred percent, Pete. One hundred percent. Any more? Uh any more t shirts in different colours, loads. Uh do you reckon we keep Lukaku six Lukaku six goals and thirty three appearing? Yeah, well that doesn't really matter. well it does matter obviously, but of course we keep him. Yeah. The top scorer. Yeah. Right, that's it. Baz has got to get off. He's got lives to save, don't you know? Uh, thanks for getting involved. Someone's just said Tarashai. Tarashai's rubbish. I'm not bothered about him. Um, thanks for watching us on this Q&A, Toffee TV, on Periscope, Facebook and YouTube. Hopefully this, the, um, the stream's been good. It seems to have been good. If it hasn't been good, then you've got rubbish internet. That's all I can say. Um because it seems to be good at this end listen we're on three we're streaming on three different things there's going to be a little bit of buffering that's all I can say probably on Periscope because it's a different thing than than the other two Uh, thanks for watching Toffee TV and we will see you later